I would compare it to the suburbs of New York. You've got New York City, Le Havdil, Yerushalayim, Ir HaKodesh. I arrived with my husband, Baruch Tzor Mitzvah about six months ago on Hanukkah, and we came with our two children. I grew up in New Jersey, and it was always my mother's dream to make Aliyah. When we made Aliyah, my husband and I looked around the communities in Israel, and we, we obviously considered Ra'anana and Beit Shemesh and the natural areas where many Anglos choose to move. We were looking for somewhere quiet, affordable, but still near Yerushalayim, and we found Mitzvah Richo. And it's this beautiful, quiet yeshuv. Uh, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're 15 minutes from Yerushalayim, so it's perfect. So it was really important for us to move to a community that would be warm and welcoming and where we would find a community that would become our family. It's always a hard adjustment uh, to, to move to a new country, especially if you're leaving behind a lot of family. But moving to Mitzvah Yericha, there's a, there's a feeling that people want to help you and help make that process um, as easy as possible. I've been through some challenging times recently. Uh, corona has not helped, it's made it even more challenging, but I couldn't have gotten through it without my friends and neighbors and the support of the community here. We wanted to jump right into full Israeli society. And that is one of the gifts that you have here in Mitzvah Yericho, is that it's a full Israeli community with a large American Anglo presence. Is it fun living next to a park? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do in the park? You like the zip line? You have good schools, you have good, you know, as a religious person, there's a really good religious life here and just really, really nice, warm, caring people. It's a community that's um, based around kids, so there's always um, activities for kids. There are two day schools, and children that join the day schools are a part of the society, so the education is built around them. So we call it full immersion immediately upon Aliyah. So although my children did have students in their class that spoke Hebrew immediately, they were able to also, at times, speak English. And by the time that Hanukkah came around, that we all know about, that by Hanukkah they'll be speaking Hebrew, actually came true for my children. I work in Yerushalayim and Beit Shemesh and Modi'in, and again, we feel like I'm in the desert. I feel like Sofa Olam, really the, like the middle of nowhere, but it's a 45 minute drive to most of these places, so it's really not so far. I um, studied genetic counseling in, um, in Melbourne. Um, it was a field that I always knew I wanted to work in, um, and since coming to Israel, I found a job working at Hadassah in Yerushalayim. So, um, yeah, looking forward to my career here. When I lived in Yerushalayim, I always thought the scenery of the, the trees and the green and the holy sites was something really, really special. And then we moved out to the desert. Where you just have the endless mountains and the endless sand. And it's incredible how so close to in, within, you know, the small four corners of Israel, you have the most incredible backgrounds and scenery and, and, and settings and as a photographer especially I appreciate that. We haven't been here long but we really do feel like we found a, a really really wonderful community to be a part of. 